Hey brother, don't worry about the Norwood Reaper. He's nothing compared to Father Time. That's the true enemy. I am a KBS and this is Back to the Barber. <laughs> going to learn something today that you already know but this will be the first time it is explained in this way this video will put fire underneath your seat so that whatever decision you decide to make in regards to hair loss you would do it quickly you will no longer procrastinate or consider just all the cons, but consider the pros. You will also view your circumstance as not just, you know, it's not that bad. You will look at your hair, what's left of it in a different way. This video will allow you to begin being serious about combating, reversing your hair loss. Because at this point, if this doesn't put fire underneath you, then you probably want to join me in the past when I was no wood seven. Probably not. So what am I going to say to you? Time is hair loss. It is not the Norwood Reaper that you should be afraid of. You should be afraid of Father Time. Because behind the Norwood Reaper, the death of the follicle supposedly, obviously I don't believe in the follicle death cult, but in this case with this analogy, it's going to help drive home the point. Father time is what gives the Norwood Reaper its power. Nothing else. Now, why is time so important for combating hair loss? It is for several reasons. And I'll lay these out for you so that you can decide today that you are going to Whatever you decide to do as far as solutions or products or using tools or a regimen that you will start being serious about it today. One is whenever there is hair loss in one area, there is hair loss everywhere. I'm going to sit on that for a minute. Because when you look in the mirror, you see your, your taper going back a little bit. You see your, your temples going back and you see the front line receding a bit. And you say, well, it's just the front line. It's a little weak. The front line, the hairline, the crown, these areas just show the hair loss first. They are the weakest areas so that they are almost the least resistant to what's going on in your scalp. So they are showing you what's going to happen everywhere. So if you have hair loss in one area, in your mind, say it's happening everywhere. Two, you are having hair loss because the follicles are going into a telogen state supposedly permanently it's not necessarily permanently but they will need to be woken up later now because of this those telogen aka comatose follicles <clears throat> once they fall asleep it becomes harder for the follicles next to it and in proximity to now demand circulation and demand um, anything from the body because now there are less hormones. 
there's less of a need for the body to give it what it needs because now it deems that it used to be 100 follicles in an area. Now there's 62. Now you say, well, I still have hair, but those hairs are dependent on other hairs. Follicles are feminine and they have group think. When you lose hair in one area, what would happen is the other ones struggle with circulation. And also what took out follicle A is working on follicle B. And when follicle B gets sick, it's going to give the sickness to follicle D and vice versa. Hair loss acts as if it is a disease being passed amongst the follicles, which it is. Remember, hair loss is not necessarily your disease. It is a disease of the follicle. Therefore, with time, if you allowed a flu to fester and you can't breathe or your lungs have problems or, you know, your immune system is low, what would happen if you just let it play out in time? Some people would say, well, I would heal myself. But follicles, if they were healing themselves, then there would be not a such thing as hair loss. One follicle sick means two follicles sick. Two follicles sick means four. Okay. Now, time is hair loss. Also, what happens is this telogen comatose state is being brought on because the conditions of the scalp are worsening. So as they worsen over time, it begins to snowball effect from a hormonal imbalance or a nutrition imbalance to mechanical and fibrosis changes. Once fibrosis and calcification kicks in, rather it's in the skin layer of the hypodermis, dermis or epidermis, rather it's in the arteries and veins or the dermopapillia root when calcification and fibrosis kicks in. What happens is now the time of healing is extended man tenfold. So when you see that your hair is becoming thin, now all you have to do is to somehow wake the follicle back up and get it back circulating and fix the things that are miniaturizing it. Remember, hair is not miniaturized. It's the follicle. Okay. The hair is just symbolic that the follicle is smaller. Therefore, it can produce a what? A smaller hair. When these things occur for you, you just see the, um, the visual of what's occurring in the follicle. But it gives you a false sense that you need to work on hair growth instead of working on the sickness of said feminine follicle. Okay. Now, as this follicle begins to get sick and is not well and the climate and the environment degrades and now you have calcification and fibrosis kicks in. Now you literally have to fix those in order to even fix the follicle. You have to remove the cement before you can even get to the dirt underneath. Consider that I would not allow myself to go to the fibrosis calcification route because that's what I did. And now my time is extended tenfold. Now, it has helped the community and it has helped you. But I am warning you right now. Time is hair loss. Another point I need to make that you probably don't hear is when these follicles go comatose or telogen stage, the body says this, you are not in use, so I will remove the resources, but not just that. I am going to remove the muscle that makes the hair move. I am going to move the artery in the vein that was connected to this follicle. It's not in use. I will remove the circulation. I will remove the, the, the fat. I will remove everything that I gave you 
to produce hair because you're no longer producing hair. So now time would allow mechanical and physical changes to occur that now you have to reverse. But worse than that, the follicle now becomes just a pore. I'm going to hold you on that. What was a feminine follicle, fully functional, is now just a pore. And when it becomes a pore, the the skin automatically gets on top of it, lays on top of it, lays on top of it. Now you have a scalp that is not even producing hair. How can it? Calcification, fibrosis, no mechanical um, components of the follicles are now working. The factory, the 3D hair printer is shut down. And that is not the Norwood Reaper. He's a false enemy. He has no power. It's time. And what things like uh, minoxidil, finasteride, and all these other ones do is to extend what? Time. But time is not money. Time is hair loss. So whatever you're going to do, do it quickly. Take a look at my videos. You can trash every other video if you want to and say it's bro science. But this one here, I tell you this, no one would disagree with me. But I'm giving you the background of why time is important. And the last point I'm going to make before I close is this. Time is also important because when it gets down to the follicle is sleep, comatose, intelligent state. The follicle is surrounded by calcification and fibrosis due to non-use and the environment changing, dealing with DHT, causing scar tissue and hardened tissue from soft tissue. And the skin overgrowth above these pores now because it's not in use. Okay. Once you try to reverse it, you have to reverse everything that has occurred after the follicle has went to sleep. So before you even get this villous hair to even appear again, you're talking about a year, a year and a half versus if it was just villous hair or small terminal, you're talking about four to six months. Now, ask yourself this question. Would you rather be me and spend two years reversing hair loss or two and a half years reversing hair loss naturally? Or would you rather spend six months doing it? The choice is up to you. Time is not money. Time is hair loss. So that's my video for today. Hopefully something here has helped you to halt hair loss and or restore it. If so, hit the like or subscribe. If not, give another video a chance. I am pretty sure you'll find something interesting. But if I can do it, you all can do it too. Let's get you back to the barber.